Hi everyone, this is Aegis, and this is a game from the Collegiate Star League. Uh, check them out at cstarleague.com. This is, of course, Season 5, Week 5. It's going to be San Kaku, the Zerg player from McMaster University. He's going to be playing against Jash from Harvard University. So these matches are Week 5, Harvard versus McMaster. Jash is going to be playing Protoss. I think I did say that. He's going to be building his pylon down here to fast expand, um, I think. His pylon. There's a pylon coming up before Jash. Going to be throwing that down on the low ground. Looks like uh, Sankaku is building his first Overlord as well as topping out at 10 drones for now. Uh, no sort of cancel on the gas trick to get that extra drone out. And there's that Overlord hatching out his... Uh, Overlord is actually scooting way over here. I don't see a rally, and this is MLG Antigua Shipyard, so you can only spawn in cross positions, and looks like Jash does not actually know that. Going to be checking down here for his Zerg opponent. And Sankaku, I guess he's also checking this top position. I guess both players are equally in the dark as to how uh, this map works. Forge is coming up for Jash for that uh, fast Forge fast expand against our Zerg player over here, and there's that spawning pool now on the way for Sankaku. Going to be getting his uh, hatchery up at the natural expansion real soon. This is the pool first, just to be uh, somewhat safe, and then get the pretty fast uh, expansion over here. This does open the ability to do a multitude of things, uh, some things related to the Spanishua style or other ones relating to getting some speedlings out or even doing a bust at the front if uh, he so desires. Looks like Jash is going to be throwing down his natural expansion right now. There it is before the cannon. Uh, he knows his opponent is uh, over here trying to grab his natural expansion. Looks like the an annoying pylon does go down. This will force our Zerg player to get out a couple of Zerglings to deal with that. He's getting his first Queen out as well. Looks like a gas cancel trick was used to be able to get some extra units out here. Looks like the first cannon now coming down for Jash. And uh, we will soon see our player from Harvard Uni University throw down his double gas in his main to be able to mine some of that gas. Uh, as his economy is going to be skyrocketing in just a moment, we all, we'll also see there's the gateway coming up. Our Zerg player trying to block a little bit. Looks like it's not on hold position, trying to run back and forth here. Looks like the cannon will take that drone out. Down it goes, and looks like the pylon over here will also fall for Jash, and he will be able to throw down... Sankaku will be able to throw down his natural expansion in just a moment. The queen is out and ready to lay a creep tumor. Uh, still waiting on the energy for that. Mining some gas right now. He is up to 150 some gas. Still not yet throwing down the metabolic boost. A couple of zerglings or, or roaches are going to be... Never mind. I totally missed that roach warren. Looks like he's going to be going for a bust at the front. I don't think this is actually going to work. I, I guess I... Um, crossed it off in my mind just because I knew it wasn't going to work, but these few roaches are going to have to march all the way across and across the map, and there's no zergling reinforcement coming up because the speed is not done. This is the 7 roach bust, and once this fails, because I'm pretty sure it will, there are 3 cannons over here powered by several pylons. Uh, looks like Jash uh, is going to be setting up to throw down something. There's another gateway coming up. These roaches are going to be running straight into a stiff wall of cannons, um, and it is completely walled off. Uh, this pylon might be a weak point, uh, maybe trying to bust through the forge here. Looks like the roaches will be hanging out up front here. Uh, the first zealot does pop out as well, so that zealot will be able to run over here and do some additional damage. And a uh, nice micro there by Jash, saving that Zealot Sankaku, getting out a couple of those uh, drones right now, trying to catch back up in terms of economy, uh, getting his natural expansion up as well. Looks like he's going to be trying to range down this gateway over here, and perhaps trying to bust through. Another gateway will be complete in just a second, 
and our Protoss player has not yet started the Cyber Core uh, upgrade, the crucial one, the Warp Gate research. Looks like the Overlord actually trying giving some uh, spotting there, so that it does uh, spot the high ground. The Overlord will be f uh, checking inside of Jash's main to see exactly what's going on. Looks like just a single gas being taken. Never mind, there's a three gas up right now for our Protoss player. He's also throwing down a robotics facility. Meanwhile, our Zerg player is finally getting out a couple more drones. He also has Evo Chambers and Creep Tumors spreading across his base, uh, covering the inside, making sure that he does have that mobility inside of his base to be able to deal with any sort of Warp Prism harass. And uh, Jash here trying to make two probes at a time, going to be saturating both his main and natural pretty uh, quickly. He's also getting the plus one uh, ground attack upgrade for his army. Uh, getting additional uh, vomits down here for Sankaku. He does have his source creep tumor making its way across the map. A drone is headed out for some scouting, perhaps to throw down a ninja expand. I don't think it's actually doing scouting. Maybe we'll see that ninja expansion. There's an overlord getting zapped away by that single sentry. Um, the roaches continuing to try to put some pressure. That Zella is still alive after all of that. There's an idle probe sitting, uh, of course, idly by in the natural expansion of Jash, a couple of uh, more drones coming out. The lair is also on the way. Uh, over here, the creep tumors are being sub somewhat active. It is spreading towards that possible fourth base now that uh, Sankaku has taken this base over here as his ninja expansion. And right now, Jash is getting up a couple of those immortals. Uh, seeing these pop out... I think we may be seeing him do some pushing here, and San Sankaku actually forced out a couple of extra cannons there. I don't think this one was there last time I checked. Um, looks like over here, a couple of gateways going down, three more to add to the total, bringing it up to five. We'll probably see him do some sort of five gate immortal push if he does not take an, a third base uh, relatively soon within the next one or two minutes. Uh, two gas at the natural expansion, not quite being mined right now couple of spine crawlers also on the way for uh, Sankaku. He's going to be getting up his spire to do some muta harassment real soon. This is good against uh, Pronos players who do decide to go for uh, heavy immortal plays. He's even got immortals queued up right now. So uh, these gateways are finishing up. This will allow him uh, better flexibility to be able to warp in some stalkers. But we'll see if he decides to go ahead and push before any mutas are out on the field. The Spire is about halfway complete, that means it does have about a minute more of Blizzard time to go. Third base now grabbing some gas over here. I do like this third expansion now, now that he's gone for these Mutalisks. Um, we'll probably see him take this base over here as his fourth relatively quickly. The Roaches have returned home, and an Overseer going to be checking out the inside of Jash's base. It will spot all of the buildings here. Uh, seeing the path that it has been queued up, uh, several more immortals are coming out. He's up to four now, and I can't imagine anything aside from a huge immortal push coming out real soon. Sankaku is sitting on a m pretty much nothing as of this point. He doesn't actually really have any spotters uh, until the center Zelnaga Watchtower with his single Zergling, so he's not going to be able to get out extra production rounds as he sees this huge army pushing across the field. This is a very substantial 8 meters now on the way, uh, going up to 12, but he's going to need more than that to deal with this force here. Those immortals smash spine crawlers and roaches. There's, it's like those uh, units don't even exist. It looks like a proxy pylon going down as well, opening up these this extra uh, area over here. It looks like the probe to build proxy pylons has gone down. Additional spine crawler on the way. The mutas are out, but there's a, quite a substantial number of stalkers here. Cancel down on that uh, spine crawler. It looks like here's the engagement, but the roaches being completely smashed by those immortals, and all that are left are those 12 mutalisks. Four more on the way. It looks like these stalkers. Oh, Jash is losing those stalkers very quickly. He's got a couple more reinforcing stalkers. Looks like these mutas are going to be forced back, and the mutas n now are uh, going to be engaging nothing. Looks like the immortals now pushing into the natural expansion of Sankaku. The drone's getting pulled off the line. I don't think that's going to be enough, 
and the Immunos continuing to engage those Stalkers over here. The Broodlings do pop out, surround a couple of those Stalkers. Looks like uh, additional Stalkers now coming in here, and the Immortals trying to deal with Zerglings. Always not a good thing. Uh, more Mutos popping out. Looks like uh, Jash will be losing this horse here because of uh, those Immortals being pretty slow and the Stalker numbers just not being high enough to deal with both the Broodlings, Zerglings, and the Mutalist count, but it looks like five more uh, Stalkers getting in here. The Immortals marching into the main. Looks like they will be able to target down a couple of buildings here. Um, they're going straight after the lair. Looks like the lair will be falling. The drone's getting a surround, but those Immortals are pretty tough. Looks like they will also survive to engage the drones. All four Immortals are going to be falling uh, basically at the same time. And the main expansion now being uh, expanded to... No, it looks like he's decided not to do that. GG out of Sankaku. Um, just not enough firepower here to deal with our Protoss player, who is also already gearing up to take his third expansion. That huge immortal push, although it almost was held off, it was just too much for Sankaku to hold off. And we're going to be headed to Game 2 between Harvard University and McMaster University. Uh, I don't remember what map it is on, but we will see you there.